If we look at our earned value table, the schedule variance indicates that we are ahead of schedule. There has been almost $900 worth of work completed that wasn't planned to be completed as of the date of our status report. But one of the limitations of schedule variance, and SPI for that matter, is that it attempts to measure time in dollars. More work has been done than what we planned in terms of cost, but by looking at the schedule variance, we don't know how the project is doing in terms of time. In order to find out how well our project is doing in terms of time, we need to view the variance table. We go to View, select Tables, and then select our variance table. Here we can see the actual or predicted start and finish dates for our activities, and we can also see the baseline start and finish dates for our activities. But most importantly, we can see the start variance and finish variance. For the activities that we have completed, the variance is based on the difference between planned and actual information. For the activities that we have not yet completed, the variance is based on what is predicted considering how the project has gone so far. For this project, as of January 17, 2010, we started the project four days early. Ahead of schedule is indicated by a negative number here but we are actually two days behind schedule. Remember that the schedule variance told us that we had completed almost $900 worth of work that was not scheduled to be completed? So how can it be that we have a positive schedule variance and we are actually two days behind schedule? The reason for the positive schedule variance is that the work that has been completed ahead of schedule is non-critical. How well you are doing on a project in terms of time depends on how well you are doing on the critical path. It is possible to have a negative schedule variance and actually be ahead of schedule if you are completing critical activities ahead of schedule and it is the non-critical activities that are not going as planned. In addition, as our example project shows us right here, it is possible to have a positive schedule variance yet be behind schedule if your critical activities are the activities behind schedule. The schedule variance is, is useful in telling us how the schedule is doing in terms of cost. But when we are reporting how well the project is doing in terms of time, you will always want to view the variance table.